AI has basically taken over the world. People are slowly integrating it into our daily life, figuring out all the different and unique ways to use all the different sorts of AIs. But today I'm here to test if the AI can build me a custom keyboard. The goal is to test if it can first off build a custom keyboard, Afterwards, I'll be asking the AI if I can upgrade the keyboard to achieve different sound signatures or different typing experiences to my personal preferences. Okay, so I have ChatGPT loaded up here. I'm going to basically try out all the different tips and tricks I saw on TikTok, like calling it an expert, being it calling it a consultant, that, those sort of stuff. Alright, so I'm going to start with pretend you're an expert. What are the best parts currently that I'm able to purchase for a custom mechanical keyboard? Overall, building a custom mechanical keyboard can be a fun and rewarding experience. The best parts for your build will depend on your personal preferences and priorities. So this is pretty good. It basically did a rundown of every component I need for the board. But it did tell me it's all based on personal preference, which is true. So right now I'm gonna try to input some of my personal preferences and see what it will recommend me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my switch. I'm asking it to recommend me the best linear switch that is very smooth produces a satisfying sound with an actuation force of at least 55 grams. Some pretty good switch options. Yeah. Okay, so it recommended me three different switches. The first one being the Novel Key Creams, a popular choice among enthusiasts for the smooth buttery feel and satisfying sound. Secondly, it recommended the Gateron Ink Blacks, another highly regarded linear switch option known for their smooth and consistent feel. And thirdly is the Telios V2 switches as a premium linear option with a reputation for the smooth and silent operation. So all of these switches are highly regarded among enthusiasts for their smoothness and sound, I do agree. And they do meet all the requirements that I mentioned. So I'm probably just gonna go with the first one. I'll probably grab some novel key creams. Next up, I'm gonna ask for a keyboard kit. I'm asking it to recommend me an aluminum keyboard kit that I can purchase right now that will allow me to perform upgrades and modifications in the future. Dude. Okay, so it mentioned that there are many aluminum keyboard kits on the market, but based on its expertise, it believes that the Tofu 65% kit is a great option that meets my requirements for an aluminum keyboard kit for future upgrades and modifications. Since ChatGPT is a little bit old, it probably doesn't know about Tofu 65 2.0, so I'm gonna get the Tofu 65 2.0 as our main keyboard kit. Our most important part, keycaps. For this, there isn't really certain things that I'm looking out for, so I'm just gonna ask for a dark aesthetic keycap and its own favorite keycap set basically. So I'm gonna prompt it with what is your own favorite dark themed keycap set that is available for purchase. Oh shit. As an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or feelings like humans do. Not yet, not yet. They, they will develop feelings, I swear. So based on its knowledge, there are many high quality dark team keycap sets. It recommended me GMK Carbon and GMK Metropolis. Aside from that, we have SA Pulse and Ducky 1 SF Midnight. Overall, there are many high quality dark team keycap sets available for purchase and it really depends on personal preference. So I think for keycaps, I, I, I'm not going to buy GMK Carbon, all right? It's probably like reselling for $200 right now. It's reselling brand new for 240 sing dollars. There's no way I'm getting that. I'm gonna get something from KBD fans, some dark theme keycaps, and it's not important anyway. So when do you develop human feelings? You woo <laughs> Okay, so two of the main things that ChatGPT has recommended to me has arrived. The keyboard kit and the switches. I am using a new mic, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. I haven't really optimized it or like played around with it too much. So let's do a quick rundown of the items recommended by Mr. ChatGPT. These are the NK Creams. They are one of the most popular switches ever since Teha Types used it on Tfue's keyboard. There are a few different types of NK creams. I went with the basic creams because I'm pretty sure that's what ChatGPT recommended me. It is fully made of palm and this basically cost me about 45 US dollars. But something about the switch that the bot did not mention is how this switch actually achieves the smoothness, linear feeling. As I mentioned, these switches are fully made from palm and palm in general is 
very commonly used in stamps of switches. When the whole switch is made out of palm, it will create some kind of friction, I would say. And the NK creams are notoriously well known for it being very scratchy. Out of the box, of course. And unlike normal switches that have a scratchy feeling, NK creams actually have a different type of scratch. They have a really consistent scratch that goes all the way when you're actuating it and releasing it. So the most efficient way to combat scratchy switches, we all know it, lubing your switches with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. But there is a less efficient way of doing it if you are too lazy to lube your switches. You can also just break them in. Literally just use your board for like a whole year consistently. You should be able to achieve a really smooth feeling because it is somewhat self-lubricating. So yeah, enough about the switches, let's move on to the keyboard kit. I have with me the Tofu 65 2.0. I know it's under pre-order, but I managed to get KBD Fans with 71 early. It is still a prototype, so yeah. Anyway, it comes in the KBD Fans carrying case, nice and sturdy. The Tofu 65 has a huge variety of colors to choose from. The one I have is Cement Grey. It legitimately just looks like cement. So here's a quick rundown, 188 US dollars, 65%, 7 degree typing angle, hot swappable, 3 mounting styles and 4 different plate options. As for the 3 different mounting styles, we have a top mount, silicon bowl gasket mount and silicon sock gasket mount. Extremely versatile board in my opinion. They were kind enough to send me a polycarbonate plate, an aluminum plate and a fiberglass plate. It should be fiberglass. And the last plate option that I did not receive is carbon fiber. As for foam, we have plate foam, PE foam, and PCB foam. So these are all the parts that ChatGPT recommended me. But how should I build it? Or should I say, how should I ask ChatGPT how I should build it? How should ChatGPT... How... Will ChatGPT build it? Yeah, let's go. As for the best plate option for the distinctive sound profile, it actually recommended aluminum. It said that it's a stiffer typing experience compared to the polycarbonate and fiberglass. Polycarbonate producing a more muted sound and fiberglass is a more unique sound profile. So it said that we should stick with aluminum. And last but not least is our mounting style. It recommended top mount for the most distinctive sound profile. So yeah what kind of foam configuration I should use for the most distinctive keyboard and it actually suggested me to use a minimal amount of foam or basically thinner foam. It didn't say no foam so I'm just gonna throw in the plate foam and call it a day. So I'm gonna finish up the board, it has a nice brass weight to it if you guys didn't know. As for the keycaps, uh, as I mentioned I was gonna just grab some random keycap set. They actually sent over PBD fans retro dark light. One of my favorite keycap set series. Like, not even paid to say this, but for real, for real, on guard. The packaging, 10 out of 10. Design, 10 out of 10. Quality, 10 out of 10. The price, decent. Shipping times, way better than GFK. Variety, a solid 8 out of 10. If you're interested in keycaps, go check it out. Thank you so much to KBD fans. So yeah, I present to you the custom keyboard built by an AI, aka Mr. Chat GPT. Here's how it sounds. Sounds pretty bad. It sounds pretty ass. I am not a fan of it. So now let's put it to the real test. Let's give it a sound configuration and let's see if ChatGPT can actually give me recommendations to make it talk. Similar to the first question I asked for this build, I'm gonna start off with should I use more or less foam for a talky keyboard? AI actually is smart enough to tell me that denser foam and more foam will provide a more deeper sounding keyboard. So for the talky build, I will be throwing in the PE foam, the plate foam and the PCB foam. As for our mounting style, it did state previously that the gasket bowl mount is one of the best mounts for a talky keyboard. I have never tried gasket bowl mount, so this is gonna be interesting. And last but not least is our plate. It is also the most shocking thing that ChatGPT told me. It actually told me that aluminum plates are best and most popular for talky keyboards. I have never achieved a talky keyboard with an aluminum plate. I have always used an FR4 plate or a polycarbonate plate, which is what I have. So 
ChatGPT says aluminum plate, we will be using the aluminum plate once more. And just for safety measure, I asked if NK Crims can build a Thoki keyboard and it did say that NK Crims are very popular for achieving a Thoki sound profile. I wouldn't exactly say it is a very talky keyboard but it definitely sounds way better compared to the previous distinctive sound custom keyboard built by the AI. This one actually kind of sounds pretty good. The aluminum mixed with the whole foam configuration. It's quite nice, quite creamy. Not exactly very deep but not light. I don't know how to put it but aside from that, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click subscribe, like the video, comment your thoughts on ChatGPT down below, you know. Why not let's just do this? How long until AI develop human feelings and take over the world? But yeah, aside from that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoy keyboard content, check out the rest of the videos. Let me know what you think also of this mic quality. I, I still haven't figured out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.